Hello there everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is Acer Gift Gaming. Going through a Dead by Daylight intro guide survivor tutorial. So Dead by Daylight is a 4 versus 1 multiplayer horror game of where you can play either one of four survivors, aim to complete gens and then escape through one of two exit gates or the hatch, or you can play as the killer of which their sole objective, as their name suggests, is to kill all four survivors uh, before they can have the availability to escape. If you are new to the channel and do do like this content that I am bringing to you, don't forget to click the like button as it does help out the channel quite a lot. And also if you do wish to view more further videos of what upon their release, then don't forget to click the subscribe button as well and also leave a comment. Then that way I know exactly what the best content that you would like to see next. I am due to be bringing out a killer sided video as well as this for those that do prefer playing on the killer side. The main objective of Dead by Daylight as a survivor is to completely and fully repair 5 different generators from the 7 that spawn all around the map of which the killer will be protecting by trying to chase you around the map. There will be different things that you can do around the map as well as gens as including cleansing totems, um, opening up uh, chest bump items, and also attempting to try to lure the killer into possibly chasing you, then that way your teammates can be able to complete the objectives that are urgently required before you can then open up the exit gates, then that way you can leave the trial successfully. Be aware though, because the killer obviously will also have a different range of abilities to be able to try and halt your progress to then be able to try and kill you before you can manage to escape. There are three different types of currencies in Dead by Daylight while you're playing the game. The main one that you're going to be using most of all is your blood points, which you can gain in game, whether you might be doing gens, cleansing totems, being chased around by the killer and using pallets, or even healing your teammates. Blood points can be used in multiple different ways. The main way is by using it on the blood web when you're not currently in a game to be able to collect different things that will be able to help you when you're inside of a trial. Whether it will be gaining perks or upgrading perks, getting items, whether it might be a med kit or a toolbox, getting add-ons for such items and also offerings that can do numerous different things. Your second type of currency is called iridescent shards. These are you. These are gained through playing the game more and more. So you cannot gain any extra just by playing well against other killers. These are solely for the amount of time that you are playing the game. Iridescent shards can be used for a few different things, whether it might be gaining new perk, new teachable perks inside of what is called the Shiner Secrets, which you can gain access to via the in-game store. Or you can use the iridescent shards to be able to gain different cosmetics for your, some of your favourite killers and survivors to make them look differently, whether it might be just changing the colours of the outfit or changing the character entirely so they might look completely different and sound different. Your third and final type of currency you can get in Dead by Daylight is called Auric Cells. Unlike the other two, Auric Cells are only able to be purchased from the in-game store. Orc cells are mainly used to be able to get cosmetics from inside the in-game store to be your characters, but it can be also used for, for a few other things as well. Before each game that you play in Dead by Daylight, you have the opportunity in your inventory to attach to your character that you're going to be playing as different perks, items, add-ons and offerings. Inside of your inventory, the main part is your perks, which you can attach up to four. Some perks have to be activated in particular circumstances, while certain other perks may have a passive effect. Be mindful and read each perk individually, as you'll need to understand them to be able to utilise them in their fullest potential. There are different items that you can attach to, which can include a med kit, a toolbox, or even a key, of which it might be able to help you during the game if you manage to use it in the correct manner. All items, also you can attach up to two add-ons, 
of which will be able to boost the performance of the individual. The options of which you can use include different things that can operate around the map, which can include additional effects to her, can add or take away the chest of score around the map, or it can even adjust how many block points you can obtain by doing certain objectives during your game. Certain offerings can even boost blood points for not just yourself, but other players that you'll be playing with inside of that game as well. The archives in Dead by Daylight is still a relatively new part to Dead by Daylight, encouraging players to be able to play different killers or survivors or play with particular perks or play a particular way that they might not necessarily feel comfortable with and in doing so rewarding them with different rewards which can include different extra charms or possibly even extra blood points that might be able to help them to further upgrade each of their individual characters or items that they may require. As of the recording of this video today, there are currently seven different archives which different survivors and killers are used to be able to get these particular objectives completed. Every mid-chapter a new archive is, is begun which features particular characters which further reflect on their background and lore. You can gain access to the archive section within Dead by Daylight either by being on the main menu of when you open up Dead by Daylight or on your character selection screen whether it might be Survivor or Killer before you start trying to matchmake for a game. Once the Dead by Daylight matchmaking server has allowed you to be able to load into a lobby, you will have your final opportunity to be able to make any additions or changes to your inventory before your game starts. You can ready up at any time during, during this time when you're inside the lobby, but bear in mind that once every single player, including the killer and all four survivors have all readied up, the match will then automatically load up. The last 5 seconds of that final minute you will not be able to load, load anything extra to your inventory and then will be loaded into your game. The offering screen is the final part that shall be loaded up before you are fully loaded into the game. Any offerings that are going to be used by any players are shown to all players at this time, although there are a few offerings that will not be shown to players apart from the specific player that is using the specific offering. The few offerings that are shown only to the player using it include Mori's and Shrouds. So you have now loaded into your trial of Dead by Daylight. As a survivor you do need to work with your other fellow survivors as well. Be able to all be able to exit the trial safely by completing gems. But do remember that there are also tokens that you can complete. And you also do need to try and keep your teammates healthy as well if you can. The most important thing of all, of course, in, in any game is to also have fun. So make sure you do experiment different perks as well. Because you may find that some perks are fun than others. And you will be able to find your own different playing style. Which will be able to benefit the team. When you've completed a trial... You'll be able to see how you fared during the game by the statistics and grades that you're given into four different sections within your gameplay. You'll be able to also rank up by completing objectives as well, which you're also given a points total which will go towards your blood points. That concludes the beginner tutorial for Survivor in Dead by Daylight. I am also creating a killer tutorial video. So if you wish to see that as well, then please subscribe to the channel and also click the bell to be notified of when I do upload my next video. If you like this video, then please click the like button as it does help to help out the channel a lot. And also comment down below and let me know how you're doing on Dead by Daylight, especially if you are a new player. And let me know if this guide has helped you in any way to get started. If you do have any further questions, then let me know in the comments section below as well as I shall respond as quickly as I can. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe and to see you in the next video.